Okay. Thank you for coming to the channel. And you know what channel you're at. Dale Chanel's 48th World. And you know who we're going to be talking about today. It's going to be Portia Williams from the Bravo franchise. Yes, that's beautiful Portia. Portia, Portia, Portia. Portia Williams. Okay. Well, we're talking about her for a reason. You know she's going to be starting her new show on November 28th. She's a daughter. She's a sister. Okay. And she's a mother to PJ. That's her PJ. I'm telling you. PJ look like her dad and her mama. But she's looking a lot more like her mama now. But you can definitely see her dad in there. But that's Portia. The faces. The many faces. And personalities of Miss Portia Williams. Okay. She and her hourglass figure. Uh, she's known as a pro activist when she advocates for Black Lives Matter and everything black power and the development of black civilization. That's what she was doing on last season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But we know Portia, she's a runner, she's a track star. She will kick your butt if she has to. If you come in her way, you can catch these hands every day. Okay, but she's a runner, she's a track star. She's a lover and a fighter. Yes, Portia Williams is a wonderful, wonderful mom. And she's dedicated to her man. Yep, she's a lover, she's a lover. That's her indigenous at one point at one time. They need to get back together, but then she, again, she's a fighter. Y'all remember when she roped Kenya down with her long hair and put her to the floor? Had to attend anger management, because she's a runner, she's a track star. Portia don't take no mess, and you can get these hands any day. Then she tries to portray, of course, the elitist and elite. She likes to rub with the who's who. Then she's a man stealer. She's a home stealer. She's a home wrecker. As most people like to see her these days. Okay, because that was Fallon's ex husband, Simon Gubadia. Now, that's her fiance. You just can't make this stuff up. Where do they get it? Where do they get it from, y'all? I don't know. But that's the older man she's supposed to be dating. And I know Andy has something to do with it. Because he likes wretchedness and he loves to come to basically the blacks to bring the drama and the wretchedness. Okay. But Bravo, Andy Cohen, he basically was like, we haven't seen the end of Portia. We're just giving her a break. More than likely, alleged, allegedly, she'll be back for season 15. To get that money, 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 money. Yes, honey. Make the money. Don't let the money make you. Okay. But, you know, she's also an entrepreneur. She has developed with certain brands her own, um, we call it, bed lining line. She has been a personality host over there at Dish Nation and the Ricky Smiley Show. And, of course, you know, we all know her. She got her first stint of biting off the entertainment apple. Okay. Or I should say Peach in The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Which in uh, the process, she got her own show. A little spinoff. I don't know if it's going to be two seasons, three seasons, four seasons. It all depends on how ratchet and how many of her followers tune into her new show. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Portia Family Matters series. Okay, we know we got one. I don't know how many episodes we got in season one, but I'm sure from looking at the trailer, the clip that's going to be playing on November 28th, that's going to be fire with plenty of ratchetness. Uh huh. Fire. Yes. And lastly but not least, she is on another uh, adventure. She has made her book into an audio. Of course, you can get it, an uh, ebook. You can get it the plain version. And she probably got it in magazine form. I don't know. I don't plan on getting it. Because if I got it. I would just be getting it. Just to put on the shelf. Okay. Because. 
Portia hasn't grown enough. She hasn't done enough uh, philanthropy type work. She hasn't done enough growing because she still like to put them hands on folks whenever she get a chance. That's her tour date. I'm sure you can find it. Um, if you go on her Instagram account. Um, I, I mean, I have Aretha Franklin's book, her autobiography. And oh, I only read through half of it. And then it just became, you know, a staple on my shelf. I have a bomber's book I haven't read. Michelle. Um what's his name clinton bill clinton's book i just you know people just seem to just make books for more advertisement for more money to come their way but one book i haven't got that i really do need to get since it's coming up for the new year is um some of malcolm x's books now he is just kind of very interesting i think i want um I think I uh, actually read one of his books. I can't remember what it was. Because it was thick. But it took me about almost a year to read it. But that was noteworthy. And he did a lot. He did a lot uh, for the progression of black people. In this society we live in. As well as Martin Luther King. You know. When you get the King Week come up in January and stuff. You, you just get saturated with a lot of black history. But hey, black history should be just like every day. It should not be just for January. It should be every day. Like we got to learn about world history every day. We need to learn about black history. We need to go about Asian history. We need to read about the Native Americans and learn about them. Uh, the Eskimos. Uh, any other indigenous person out there. That's a race. Okay, we need to learn about them. That's just it. But, um, yeah, Portia is releasing her book. I think, um, uh, shoot, November 30th. She's doing everything around the holidays. So, you know, I might feel in so inclined, you know, if I'm out there, you know, doing my thing. If I come across it. Because I know when I go in Barnes and Nobles, I just bought a um, Bible um, maybe a month and a half ago. That Bible was almost $60. Because it's a learning study Bible as well. But the one I really wanted was like $89. And I still may go back and get that one. Because it has a lot of gems in there. And it gives a lot of more perspective on the Word. Okay, now see, I can spend money on the Word. But Portia, I have to be in a very good mood and hey it may slide in my cart uh when i'm over there looking for other stuff because barnes and nobles is high they bookstore is high do you hear me but when i go in there i know i'm gonna find what i'm looking for they always have a plethora of wealth of books magazines articles everything okay whoo but anyway I uh, ain't study materials for school as well. Child, please. You can get everything out of Barnes and Nobles. But she's going to be doing a book signing. I suggest you go over to her Instagram account. I have one plastered in the video if you want to take a snapshot of her itinerary that she, where she's going to be signing her book. And you can come and see her and all that jazz. And hopefully she's be she will be hopefully practicing safe social distancing wearing her mask and all of that even though she may be vaccinated but hey protection over top of protection is good for you not to get the open okay but um we're taking the article information uh from bravo tv.com um michelle regato uh put out her little article on portia titling it Portia Williams teases her next major project. Eek! This is happening. Eek! You know, that little excitement voice like you want to scream, but it just comes out like a eek. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a cartoon character. I can make that song all day, but um, yeah, it'll probably hurt me too. Because it takes a lot to get that hype voice. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go into the article. It says, Portia Williams is so excited to announce her next major venture. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum is getting ready to embark on a massive book tour in promotion of her upcoming memoir, The Pursuit of Portia, as she related in a recent Instagram post. Okay, on November, uh, on November, November 2nd, Portia took to Instagram to confirm the exciting news. The first time author shared in an, an itinerary from her upcoming book tour, which will include stops in 
several cities across the U.S. I'm going on tour. I'm going on tour. Which I don't know why you're going on tour. Well, then again, you need to make that money because you quit several jobs that we hopefully, mainly Real Housewives of Atlanta, they will let you back season 15, okay, if this thing don't work out with the Pursuit of Porsche. But I think it will because I'm telling you, it was tantalizing. It was exciting. The trailer was giving me nothing but Ah, what? Ooh, you know, nasty, nasty wretchedness that can probably fill my memory banks for an hour. Oh, hopefully, she won't take it for granted and have me watching the screen for an hour and give me nothing. But Portia never really disappoints. She really doesn't. She's going to catch them hands, put them paws on somebody. She's going to be shading somebody senseless. Or she may just give us, you know, an exciting look at what's going on in her love life you know what i'm saying but um that's just me that's just how i look at portia because she's just like a cute little something and her daughter is just growing up looking so pretty so pretty so pretty so pretty <coughs> and so is um <coughs> kenya's daughter Bricky. is she's looking so pretty 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 now it's a shame that they both can't hide <coughs> Um, be in the play areas, you know what I'm saying? Given um, playtime, because you know the women are somewhat constituents with one another. They're co-workers, and they have kids around the same age. I mean, when they both had their babies, they were trying to make it a storyline, a uh, storyline where they were pleasant with one another. And they weren't calling each other ungodly names and stuff. Maybe it was for the kids. I don't know. Or they were wanting to be seen in a different light. It's not always catty towards each other. And, you know, row, cat mode, ready to pounce on one another. And the babies just brought their other energy. But then it seems like Kenya would, you know, she was kind of like in competition with, you know, Portia Bay's not doing this, my baby doing that. So it kind of like was lackluster for me. But they both care about their babies. And I guess they're going to always be competitive. In every facet, even when it comes to their children. I really don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Okay. But going back to the article. On November 2nd, Portia took the Instagram saying she's excited. She's a first time book writer. And we do know somebody else wrote the book for Portia. Portia just gave all the ideas and the information for them to implement it into a book. Okay. That can be somewhat interesting to read. I'm not really sure. But um, like I said. I can't confirm or deny. Whether I will get the book. It's really leaning on to no. Uh, because she hasn't really done anything. That I want to waste my time. Um, quiet time. To sit and read something. That I'd rather see her act out. On the screen. On my TV screen. Okay, My phone that nature but who knows stranger things have happened i'll let you know if i get it though and i read into it and see what it's you know what it's giving me or not but we know she's a runner she's a track star okay she's a lover and a fighter but um going back to the article it says uh she's going to be going to several cities in the u.s it's not posted in this particular article but she says i'm going on tour I'm so excited to announce that the book tour for The Pursuit of Portia. Uh, well, I see you there. That's what she's asking. No, you won't. Swipe to see my full itinerary, she wrote in the captions of the, mo of the post going on to add. This is happening. Well, of course it's happening, baby. Don't put your money into it. We will hope that it will be happening. And hopefully it's very prosperous, fruitful for you and your family. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay, okay, nope, 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 okay, um, we have a big tour schedule, she said, while also showing off the first peek at the completed book, which hits shelves on November 30th, so see, she's just in chrono chronological order with the holidays, the sh um, show comes out, uh, the pursuit of not Pursuit of Portia, but the Family Matters version of Portia's spinoff show. It comes on on the 28th. Her book hits the shelves for you all to go out and purchase on November 30th. And it's all around, centered around uh, the Christmas season. Where people are out there buying, buying, buying. So that's a uh, cute advertisement and good marketing planning, Portia. 
Okay, so it's coming into fruition, her book, her um, show is coming out, Portia Family Matters. So hopefully she can capitalize on all these wonderful aspirations she has put herself in and may it be very lucrative for her and her family. Okay, even though I wasn't impressed with her quitting all these jobs, but I guess with the filming of her show and her book uh, touring, um, it may have caused a conflict where she couldn't actually um, do Dish Nation, you know. But a check is a check, and you don't know about this man you're dating. I mean, if it is true and you didn't mess up and get into the way of Fallon being uh, married to Gabadia at that time it was showcasing on um, The Real Housewives of Atlanta if it's true you know everything was resolved or everything had happened I don't know it just it feels kind of weird Portia because you're taping with the lady and you're over there in the lady's house with her former husband and you know she's t showing you showcasing her husband and all of that and you're finding you know which you know it's okay to find over rich black man it's okay or any man that's rich right but mostly they are single but you were well it's not really just you because tanya tanya was looking at him too and your sister lauren was looking at him too so y'all were just looking and just being in awe of everything that fallon had and you know it just we hope you come with some good answers to how this relationship actually started it just kind of seems kind of weird Portia freaky at best because even if they were going through it and y'all were taping it just doesn't seem kosher that's all I'm saying so hopefully bad luck won't hit you from getting in a situation like this that we don't have all the privy information to make a complete observation and um what do you call it uh well we could just say what we feel or uh, giving our opinions on the issue because we don't really have all the evidence and we can't judge you you know we have to take the border out of our own eyes before we can simply judge somebody else i mean who um who hasn't seen cast the first stone um, but if it is some issues, Portia, you know, like I said, when you do something, it's going to be consequences. And if you did anything before it should have had got popped off, you know, well, he was free to, you know, be doing things with you. Then, oh, okay. I don't think we can say, woo, honey, just pray about it. Just pray about it. Because we can't help you on the Lord. can help you on the Lord. can help you. But that's all I had of this video, guys. It was very cute, short, and to the point. And it was letting y'all know Portia's embarking on another endeavor. She's coming out there. She's been selling her bed sheets. Uh, she's been selling her shoes from Fab. And, and now she um, putting out a new show that's going to come out after Thanksgiving for us to partake of on that Sunday. Um, and then she's on a book. She's written a book, okay, for us to catch up on her life from the beginning to where she's at now. Uh, should be interesting to some people or people just just want to go out and support her and, and, and drive up her revenue um, we can do that too for we can do that but um, that's all I had and I will see y'all next video okay thank you and remember to share 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 and like bye bye